Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We're your host, Freaking Stuff. What up, what up, what up? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a spoiler review for the new HBO series, Industry. And this review is going to be on episode one, which airs Mondays at 10 p.m. Yeah, late night. And before we get into that review, if you like what we're doing on the channel with these reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and anime, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on those notifications, give us a thumbs up, and share the channel with your family and friends. And so, Steph, what was your reaction to last night's premiere episode? Um, I wasn't expecting this. Um, this was a different view on a lot of things honestly uh the work environment um competitiveness in the work environment trying to get your foot in the the door um when you are fresh out of college um and seeing things in a different light in a different different realm um is awesome and be honest with you um and to me the way this show is depicting those things and not showing it, um, like, you know, as they said, sugarcoating it, mm-hmm. it's pretty good uh, so far. And I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the first episode. Okay. So, for me, I immediately thought of its com- competition, Billions, on Showtime. I'm like, hmm. Different approach than Billions, but same realm, stock market, uh, stuff like that. Dealing with finances, mm-hmm. of course. Uh, with billions, it's not more so focused on the stock market, but this is definitely focused on the stock market. And in that, it's even focused just mainly around, primarily, as you, from the first episode, around these young, fresh out of college, uh, new members to the team looking to become uh, permanent after these six months mm-hmm. to be given that full time position there permanently. And it was interesting because it's also overseas at that. Yes. And this is a little post after the 2008 crash. Whew. Talk about Black Monday. <laughs> but just from the first episode, I was like, man, that a lot happened in this one episode. Agreed, yeah. And they did a good basis for each character. Mind you, one character we won't see anymore unless they do flashbacks. But yeah. So, tell me your uh, favorite and least favorite moment. All right. So, my favorite moment, honestly, was to, like, when she finally uh, got, again, and they they actually want to tie into each other. When she finally decided to just call this lady so she can stand out Mm -hmm. to close the deal um, with the idea that she gave her at the dinner. Um, It just showed initiative. It showed character development. Because at first, you know, uh, through, like, the first, what, 40 minutes of the show, you know, she's smart, but she's shy. She's reserved. Um, and it was going to it was going to seem as if if she didn't hurry up and put herself out there, then maybe after these six months, she wasn't going to be a permanent one. They liked her. They knew she was very smart, but she just didn't put herself out there, um, which ties into my least favorite part of the whole cab scene. Was it an Uber or a cab? I'm sorry. I think that was personal driver. Personal driver. Women's can be creeps, too, which is... I mean, it goes both ways. It it does, but you know, she was drunk and she laid on. I mean, people fall when you're when you're drunk and you know somebody that that tends to happen. You know, somebody falls over on you and they're like they're laying on your shoulder a lot and like pass out her. But then she starts to get a little grabby, put her hands between her legs and and all that. I didn't like that. I mean, you can definitely tell that the young lady was uh, very uncomfortable. Oh, yeah. Um, like, mm-hmm. And then when she got back home, she was talking to her friend about it and. Both knocked out. Yeah, he was knocked out because he was dog tired. But yeah, I mean, it's 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 insane that you know people with you know just try to abuse other people's space and just in general for their own gain. And like I said in this show, and again just in this episode, it showed that women do it too. And it's it's insane. It's very insane. Let me toss it up to you. Your least and favorite. Your least and your favorite part. So. Not necessarily favorite part or least favorite part, more so 
the characters that it centers around. Okay. So, Harper, our main uh, cat, fe- one of our main female characters, kind of get the vibe that she's, of course, definitely not being not completely honest. Because true. Of that is true. Thing with the transcripts, but it's intriguing because you want to know what really happened. Did she really graduate from college? Did she not? What's going on here, Harper? Mm-hmm. Did you get kicked out right before the end? Or are we going to see some type of uh, suits moment happening where, okay, yeah, you were super smart, but something stupid that you did get, got you expelled, but uh, now trying to backdoor your way in. Mm-hmm. And then to go towards my least favorite area of this was one of the uh, students' deaths. Like, I don't understand, and I kind of hope they do elaborate, even though he's dead, on all of this a little bit more, of why did he put so much pressure on himself? Wasn't there pressure from his parents or something? Mm -hmm. Because this man, from day one, put 48 hours there, literally, hardly slept. They even showed it, sleeping for a few minutes, an hour at the most, back at it. I'm like, first of all, I'm not sleeping next to no toilet seat Mm -hmm. on the floor. And then the, all the Red Bulls, all the uh, salsa water, and the pills that he was taking to keep him up, Mm-mm. ain't worth it. Nope. And he wound up within, what was that, I think, probably four or five days. Probably I think that was probably Friday at the end of it all, where he just was in the bathroom and killed himself. I, I'm guessing they're going to probably say either overdose on all that or all that combined and gave him a heart attack. Which is crazy. That's honestly what I thought was was going like during the process, and it's funny that you mentioned that because remember he was doing the porn that that other all nighter, mm-hmm. and he was like he popped the pills and he was drinking and stuff like that. Um, he crashed and went to sleep. Yeah, I thought that when he was pumped up his like he was pumping himself up after he finished the report, mm-hmm. and he was all hype and stuff like that. I thought he was gonna have a heart attack right then and there. Uh, but see, one thing that was nerve wracking. Well, not necessarily nerve-wracking, but foreshadowing, I should say. When he started rubbing his chest that other, the night before all mm-hmm. that, after the drinking and all that, see, something wasn't right for him. Yeah. But, yeah, I did not expect that. Not the way it happened. Him looking around, following the, the words, and then he looked up, and the next thing you know, he just go leaning all the way back. I'm like, maybe he passed out. But then, oh, mm-hmm. his feet still standing there, ain't moving. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All that, just because you messed up one page at the front. Get it. I'm going to rock out with it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It's better to own the mistake instead of... <gasps> Man, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. Just the font. But yeah, those would be my major things. Now, would you recommend somebody to watch the show, being that it's just a freshly starting show? Yeah, I mean, personally, I feel like, you know, when shows first air, um, the first episode um, does indeed, for certain shows, lays the groundwork. This did a very good job of laying the groundwork and the foundation because as we stated, as you stated, there's tons of storylines that can go each which way. Um, is she going to, is Harper going to tell um, someone about the lady assaulting her or is she, or they're going to find out about her fake transcripts and stuff like that. So it's different stories um, that's leading into this that can go different ways. So I definitely will recommend this. This is a very good series, even though we're first episode in. So I can honestly say more so it's a very good episode. Yeah, it definitely is an extremely great episode, especially uh, one guy that was that's in their uh, whole uh, group there. Does an all nighter as well, knowing he has to be back by seven a.m. Oh, with, with the party. Yeah, parties with this lady, does drugs and all that. Comes in the next day, does some more drugs just to wake himself up basically, and then he just starts messing up, saying off the wall stuff. I'm like. Mm. Lucky they didn't kick you out the same that same time there. So really and then quickly, he was the one that found the guy. Yeah, too. At that, I'm like, <laughs> very quickly, really quickly, that scene was hilarious. Uh, which scene? The bathroom scene when he uh, was trying we, to find the stall because oh, he's yo, seen the man over like there, this. pants at his knee at his ankles, and, I'm and he, he kept that trying to go into the too. stalls. And then he was originally going to do every other stall, but that stall was broken. Mm-hmm. But you know why? Even more so because it. Of why he didn't want to be there, because of who it was. Yeah, yeah. And Which like, made it the me. It made it awkward yet a relatable moment for guys, and it was, it was pretty funny. It was very, very funny. <laughs> I'm mad he really actually said that too about him having his own pants. Then I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> I, I, 
<laughs> for any type of situation. Something happened, I need to you gotta go. Yep. I can't be let me you're leaving yourself wildly exposed for any type of issue, sending to certain and everything. Yeah. <laughs> or can't get escape quick enough from something happening to the building. Mm-hmm. But if you watched this episode already, or if you plan on watching it, let us know in the comments below your thoughts and opinions on it, and what are you hoping out of the show, and give us any guesses to any of the characters. What do you think is going to happen after this first episode that you've seen? Any foreshadowing or anything like that? And until next time. Mm-hmm.